I'm out on my bike again this week because tonight I'm entering Mrs Hayhurst cook-off competition. Uh, to do that I needed to forage a little bit of uh, wild garlic. Um, but before we start, good morning year 10. Hi year 10. Whilst on my bike this afternoon, bumped into a couple of uh, students from our year group. So nice to see them enjoying uh, the opportunity to socialise with one person from another household. Um, socially distanced as well. A great example of... Uh, about to respond to what the Prime Minister said we could do last week. A nice message from them. Hello Year 10. We're looking forward to being back at school. I hate working from home. Stay safe everyone. I've just stopped here, um, I'm at the airfield down at Netherthorpe um, because you might remember it from my first assembly, that seems ages ago. Um, there were planes flying here on Saturday, it was great to see again, it's a sign that I suppose maybe we are easing lockdown and, and coming out the other side. There's no flying today, although I can hear one, uh, there's a van coming so he's probably going to drown me out. But what I will say is I might have any fleas flying for you, but we do have Miss, uh, Miss Nuttall doing her, hang on, here we go, we do have Miss Nuttall doing her um, cook off. So here you go, Miss Nuttall. Looking after yourselves and staying safe. So, Mr. Radford is making me enter the school cooking competition. But the only problem is, I don't know how to cook. But luckily, my six year old has given me his spaghetti bolognese recipe. Here it is. So, I figure if a six year old can do it, then so can I. So, what I need first is a cup full of soil. Soil, are you sure that's right? Yes. Okay. Full of water sounds a bit more promising. Stir it so that it makes the bolognese consistency. Oh, look at that, your turn. Doesn't that look yummy? I bet you'd all like that for your tea, wouldn't you? Right now, I need to put it onto the stove, give it a little mix. Oh, that looks fabulous. Okay, add some grass to the spaghetti. There we go, mix it about. Do I need to do that? Oh, it's done. Just need to save it. This cooking lot's easier than I thought. Okay. One for you. One for you. And one for you. Uh, um, anyway, year 10. Uh, anyway, year 10, this is my entry for the school cooking competition. Um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, I hope I win. This should be a second week of work experience and there's a couple of clips from last week that I recorded that I didn't have a chance to put in because it was already pretty long. Um, so I'm gonna play them now. Um, it includes the draw um, that should have been took that should have took place last week and some other information just about me and my experience when, when I did work experience at your age. So uh, I hope you enjoy them. I've been here a year now for a few years, so hopefully I've not bored too many with this story already, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, I did my work experience in year 10 just like you lot should have done. Uh, I went to a company called Lloyd's Catering Equipment in uh, Blackburn, Sheffield, and uh, I spent three weeks as a, a CAD draftsman. It inspired me that and, and really moulded my career um, because I, I stuck with it. I did a bit of work experience with them in the summer um, and then at the end of uh, sixth form after I'd got my engineering and my maths and my design and technology and my music A levels, I weren't quite ready to go to university and I managed to come across something called the Year in Industry Scheme which is a bit like work experience but for a year before you go to university. I finished up a company in uh, Ready, called Ready Rack in Kilmerst in Rotherham um, and for them, I worked, I've precariously balanced my phone so I don't want it to fall off, let me just hold it. For them, I worked um, as a CAD draftsman for, for a year and, and worked in their product and product development side, uh, uh, developing mezzanine floors, uh, which is like the thing to see in Sports Soccer Direct, or Sports Direct rather, um, and pallet racking systems, which is like the big shelves that you get um, as you come out of Ikea. Um, after a year with them, I, I still weren't ready for university and I stayed with them, but the point of telling you all this is because the first part of my career, until I was about 25, 26 when I went to university eventually, um, I uh, finished up in, in an industry, in a job, doing a job that was linked to my work experience and, and it was actually um, all from my work experience. So I had, I had three weeks there um, learning, enjoyed working in CAD. Uh, computer aided design, enjoyed designing stuff, found that I was pretty good at it, enjoyed design and technology at school, uh, continued with that, um, but then I went and had a career in there and, and I was working for anyway, for about uh, seven or eight years before I left um, and, and eventually did my university and teacher training. 
but that were all from Bourne, or that was all born from rather, my experience of um, going out and doing work experience that was, that was organised by school. So Mrs Brown's exactly right, it's gutting um, that at the moment you're not getting the chance to do that. I don't know whether anything will happen, I suppose it depends how much a new normal arrives um, and whether you do get a chance or not to do it, but that's why it's really important though to make the most of it, get those five top tips that she's just been talking about and um, use this time to link yourself to, to, to working, to things like the CV, the, the resources that Barkers have put online. And all those links are on um, on my email that I sent this link to you lot of students on. Um, just on that, I've just got off the phone to Mr Taylor. He's kindly set up a Go for Schools log for virtual homework, sorry, virtual work experience, which is what this week's assembly is all about. And if you do any of those links or send it on, share it on Twitter, send it to me or Mrs Brown or your tutors, anybody that sees you're doing some work for your virtual work experience, over the next two weeks they'll log that and it's uh, a handsome five points that Mr Taylor's given us for those logs um, or at least he will have after he's watched this assembly thank you Mr Taylor Mr Owen set you a question he wants to know his combined ages of his three children um, I'm pleased to announce that Charlie P will re receive an award because he got it the closest um, I'm not actually sure of the number off the top of my head. Maybe you can ask Mr. Owen when we get back to school. I'm sure he'll tell you all about it. Um, and then um, we're now going to do a draw for Mr. Crossley's um, video. So obviously that happens every week. He sends letters, which is outstanding. And hopefully lots of families have been receiving them. But for Malik, Alexi, Miles, Maisie and Milo, your names are all on these bits of paper, which I'm just going to put into a bag um, that I used to clean up after my dog when we're out and about. Obviously this one's not been used. And at random, let's pick out somebody. So that's Miles R. Uh, Miles, you are the winner and we'll receive a voucher because you've got drawn out of the work there that Mr Crossley's done. I've had my shower after my bike ride. Um, I've made headway on this week's assembly. It's now time for my evening meal. Now, this is not something I'd normally cook um, just on a random week night, um, but it is some of my favourite foods all being brought together. I'm hoping it's good enough to be in contention for winning Mrs Hayhurst's cook-off competition. Um, I'm also hoping that there's lots of Year 10 that are going to enter it, particularly some of the Year 10 food groups um, students, after sampling some of your food, I'm sure that you'll give me a run for my money. Um, and also, it'd be a good thing to put in place at the big feast that, that some of you would have been involved in around this time if school um, was still open and we were in our normal times. So here's my effort, Mrs Hayhurst. Um, I'm looking forward to my evening meal and hopefully um, it'll put me up there with the, uh, the creme de la creme. So here's my cook-off entry. Um, fillet steak, love it. Started off making my potato skins by hollowing them out after I'd cooked them, then mixed it with the wild garlic that I got earlier today um, to make a filling. I've then popped them on a baking tray with some ter cherry tomatoes um, to roast them with a bit of parmesan cheese on the top just for texture and colour. Um, and then I made my mixture for my prawns. So that's just um, oil, butter, lime, chilies, plenty of chilies, and even more garlic um, to go with the steak. I've got my pan hot and charred off my corn that I've just boiled earlier on um, for, to make it look a bit better aesthetics and give it a bit more flavour and from that char. And here's my pan hot enough to cook the steak. Mm. Then I've fried my prawns in the, the oil that I made, the, the, well the, the sauce that I made to cook them into. And then got everything ready um, to present on the plate. So I went to my herb garden. Um, that's not, and then I've plated it up there, my prawns, my steak, my corn, various different colours and there we are, medium rare, just how I like it and I finished it off. I've chose to uh, film the last bit of this week's assembly in my back garden, um, largely because I've spent that much time in it during lockdown. I've um, got it looking pretty nice, put some new lights up yesterday um, and, and just enjoying a drink, um, reflecting on, on, on the day and, and these recent times. Um, I'm going to reflect on my meal um, I've just smashed because it was absolute quality. I'd have paid um, £30 plus easily if I'd have had that at a restaurant, so just bear that in mind, Mrs Hayhurst, when you're marking it. Um, there's one thing for certain though, is I would have absolutely uh, smashed in a cheese sandwich on stale bread if it had meant that I could have sat and enjoyed it with I could rattle off I don't know hundreds of friends family and um, colleagues who are friends and just colleagues and even you lot um, if I if I could have done I'd have swapped it swapped it for that and um, I guess really it's because I'm feeling a bit lonely today 
Um, don't know why. I'm sure I'll shake myself off it when the, the weather's nicer during the week. But it's just tough. It's hard at the moment, but it is good. And, and even seeing students out and about today and seeing people out and about um, observing the rules correctly um, that have been put in place as they're the, the removing lockdown. So just make sure you carry on doing that. And, and I'll say it like I say it every week. Um, carry on doing what you can from home. Um, if you can do your remote learning, excellent. We're sort of advising still that three hours a day. We don't know what's happening in the future in terms of people coming back to school and how that's going to be. Um, so you just need to make sure you look after yourselves. And half term is at the end of this week. So do what you can to make the most of that and, and take it as a normal half term. Don't worry too much about work. Um, and what you should really be doing is relaxing after your two weeks of virtual work experience. Those um, links that Mrs Brown sent me, I've put on this email again. Hopefully you're going to take advantage of that. It's a, it's a great thing that, that nobody else will be doing at this time. I'm sure in other schools during work experience, so it'll set you amongst, amongst the best there. So uh, that's it. I won't be doing an assembly next week because it's half term. I'm going to do my utmost to make sure that I get that week off and, uh, and relax as much as I possibly can. And I look forward to seeing you after that. So stay safe, everybody.